The news about our financial, physical and environmental health is distressing. Worldwide, our weight, our debt and our consumption is out of control. It's almost like a mad scientist has been engaged in some bizarre, twisted experiment to see how sick and fat he can actually get us. For all intents and purposes, the experiment has succeeded. We've been stuffed with lies about our economy. The economy is doing reasonably well. Just as we've been stuffed with lies about our food. Our information is processed for us. Our food is processed for us. We become processed people. So we have to ask ourselves, how did we get here? And what can we do? Clearly, we're moving less, we're eating more, we're getting much heavier. A lot of us are still undernourished, despite the fact that we're overfed. When you eat a diet that's so unhealthy, you become a food addict. People are fat because they eat like kings and queens. They eat like aristocrats of old. I used to see health as the opposite of disease, and I don't do that any longer. I think of health as our natural state. The medical profession right now is doing what? We're feasting on selling disease. And we are so successful on selling sickness that there are not enough dollars in this country to pay for it. We have a, an explosion of, of high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, allergies, autoimmune conditions in this country. And so we can't say that a person that with the absence of symptoms who feels well is healthy. Could that be good health if you feel well and then develop cancer five years from there? Were you really healthy five years when you had before when you had no symptoms? When I was a child, cigarette smoking was the norm and it was acceptable behavior, and even doctors smoked. And then people understood the real impact of cigarette smoking on health. Things have changed. I remember uh, a two martini lunch was uh, something to brag about. But not these days, it's embarrassing to be a drunk in public. So, you know, things could change if we got the awareness out there. We can control our health destiny. We don't have to be sick, and we don't have to have happen to us these tragedies that befall other Americans. And there are a lot of us wanting to make responsible choices, wanting to make healthy choices, healthy for Earth, healthy for us and for the Earth. And I gain great joy from being part of that collective power. <laughs>